Hey besties, let's tackle this leak code problem together. First, we need to understand what the prompt is asking. We are given a matrix and we need to find all submatrices within it that contain only ones. The function should take the matrix mat as input and return the number of submatrices with all ones, which will initialize to zero. We also get the dimensions for rows and calls. Next, we'll iterate each cell. Think of it like scanning the entire matrix. All right, now let's get to the meat of the problem. First, we need to declare an array height to record consecutive ones for each column. Next, we iterate through each row and column. If a cell is zero, reset the height, otherwise increment it. Then, for each cell, extend the submatrix to the left as long as the height is greater than zero. We're calculating all the possible submatrices that can end at a particular cell. The pseudocode. For each row, update height, and for each column, extend and count. Okay, we're in the home stretch. We've got a working solution, but let's polish it up to make it sparkles, sparkles, sparkles. We add comments so it is easily understandable. The single line comments are there to explain what each variable does. Consider edge cases like if the matrix is empty, though the constraints say it won't be. In terms of optimization, this solution has a time complexity of O, M, and asterisk N, where M is the number of rows and N is the number of columns.